recording. Hello, 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 hello there. How are y'all doing? Ooh, too close. <laughs> Let me stop playing. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mission of Medicine. It is my senior year. Do you know what that means? It is hectic. A lot of things are going on. I'm studying for the MCAT, preparing for it by taking a Kaplan course. I'm taking classes this semester, and I have a job as an RA. So time management is key this semester, just staying organized and just making sure I'm just allocating time to the things that are important. The MCAT is coming up. I set my exam date to be in January because I want to make sure that I'm done with the MCAT stuff before spring semester stuff. I want to get this weight off my shoulders. So I start the Kaplan prep course next week. I took a diagnostic test for the exam this past weekend, and I realized that I went into the exam kind of nervous, not knowing what to expect because, you know, I haven't seen some of the material in so long since a couple years I'm a senior now. But after coming out the exam, I realized like I still do know a lot of information and I have a strong foundation. So now it's just to build on top of that. The prep course that I'm taking through Kaplan is on Wednesday nights from 6.30 to 9.30. So that's a big chunk of time that's going to be allocated to just studying for that. And then when I have free time, when I'm not taking my classes that I'm taking this semester, I'll be studying for the MCAT as well. It's senior year, so it's a lot of distractions. Usually seniors want to, you know, relax and, you know, take it easy a little bit, but I still have to go hard and make sure that I'm sacrificing those parties and not going to every single event that's happening on campus because, you know, ultimately I'm here for one thing and that's to get a career and I want to become a plastic surgeon one day. So I have to keep pushing and just focusing on the things that are most important to getting me to my goal. But with that, <laughs> nonetheless, I'm still going to go out and have fun, but, you know, I probably won't be going to every single event. I'll probably go to more meaningful events to me that I can share with my friends and look back and make memories with. I can tell you one thing that I've been using the, the Kaplan MCAT flashcards and these have been pretty helpful. I wake up in the morning and I just, you know, review a, a subject right now. I'm on general chemistry and I just wake up in the morning and I just review them on my way to class or before I leave my dorm room. And that's pretty helpful. Just refreshing, getting terminology back in my mind that, you know, I might have forgotten already since I've taken it like two years ago. So just doing little things like that to be prepared. And also there's um, MCAT questions of the day online that you can Google. You can Google on that website and then it'll pop up with the MCAT question of the day. You can answer that and it'll give you the answer if you get it wrong, right? So you can just start like working that memory and jogging your memory back to those terms and those different uh, concepts learned in the past. I'll be studying throughout the semester and then over winter break, I'll be intensely studying. I have a month off of school for winter break, so during that time I'll be really studying really hard every single day, day in, day out, and taking a lot of practice exams until I get to where I want to be so I can take it once. The goal is just to take the exam once and I'm going to work towards it and make sure I put in all the work and energy into it to get the results that I want. Until then, I'll see you all soon. I'll post a few videos here and there, not as frequent, but you know what? You still hear from me, hopefully, if it's not too hard. I see you all soon. Until then, be blessed. Peace.